Hey, Alyssa, I got you up next here. So let's talk a little bit about portfolio, shall we? I have your, there you are. Definitely much better. Yeah, I, you're, you're showing the right direction. I still have a couple of things I want you to think about. I'm going to reduce that page size a little bit. Okay. Now this page in, in general, let's say that design is about this. We, we, we break everything down to basic shapes. Okay. And we're going to use these basic shapes to build the composition on the page. So in this um, composition, we have two basic shapes. We have a rectangle and we have a circle. Okay. Now look at the relationship of the rectangle to the circle and tell me if it's a, a relationship of equality or is it a relationship of subservience or is it a, a, a dominance and subservience or is it, is it a, a, a balanced equal relationship? And, and I'm not seeing a balanced equal relationship when we look at this in terms of shapes because you have this giant, giant circle overwhelming this little tiny rectangle. So we need to address that. So let's now, if we take away the shapes completely and just look at the type, same thing. We have this giant A that's just consuming this little tiny uh, illicit design. Okay. So I'd like you to think about those relationships a little bit. Another thing I think in this uh, logo itself, you got this stroke with a brush stroke. And that's, um, that was an awesome technique in like 2009. But it's, it's been done. And it's over. So I just recommend using a, just a hairline stroke, if anything at all, around that circle. Perhaps nothing at all. My other idea is using a sans serif A in there. That would be a nice, nice, um, you know, uh, um, contrast to, to the, this classic uh, serif um, typeface. Okay. May even go with a white in there to, to just to lighten that up, put a light, the letter A in white. Okay. Um, and then we can see again, just that relationship and just how drastic. With, um, anyway, so we can see this, how drastic that relationship is at a different scale, so to speak. So um, th this looks good. This looks good. Uh, I would align this with something. Center alignment is so difficult. I, I think that it's, you know, if you're going to leave this center aligned, which is not a bad idea, spread it out. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to sound, sound redundant, but if this is going to be centered, I, I, it shouldn't be centered like right in the middle like this. Okay, of course it's going to be centered, but I'd like to have it spread out. When I say align, I mean, move that five down here so it's in alignment with that circle, and then move this over so that it's in alignment with the, your, your tight margin. Okay, and then you can always use some nice white, space, nice white space between, and you don't need that. You don't need that. And then go ahead and show this type here in that color there. And that'll draw a really nice relationship and a nice continuation, and it will keep your, that color relationship will keep your viewer right here. It'll, their eye will kind of be forced to stay in the middle. It's kind of a visual trick, but it works very, very well. So think about that. Moving on. Um, excellent. Outstanding. I, I never had a problem with the work at all. I, this, you need to do something here. Um, with this, I would try to figure out, I mean, you got the idea. You got these nice close-ups. Awesome. But get them somehow. We, we need to fit those close-ups into, you know, this grid right here so that we've got this nice, even. Do you see what I'm saying? So we just got this nice, even, even presentation. And, and th these will look like really uneven. But excellent job. You got it, man. Just like that. That's how you create more pieces. Visually... It's an illusion because it looks like you're showing three pieces here, but you're not. So nice technique. It's a good piece. And we've talked about this. The work's great. I love it. I love your work. Just, I mean, it's good. Good job, man. I'm so glad you separated that. You see what I mean? how that was those you just couldn't look anywhere else when those were converging like that hourglass it was tough good good fix though good fix good job yeah definitely 
I think this stroke right here is too solid. You just need uh, just a, a pixel stroke, if that. Well, of course that can't be anything less than a pixel, right? But just a little pixel stroke, even light gray in color, if that's, because that's really heavy. You know what I mean? Yeah, except this is blown out. You lost the sky. You just, it's just too bright. A little too much contrast, a little too much on the levels. You lost all the detail in the sky. You see what I'm saying? That's not the greatest shot. Food is so difficult, especially, especially cold sandwich food with chips and lunch. This is so difficult to shoot. Just almost impossible. So that's a tough chore right there. Clip that. Okay, so it looks like what's happening, I don't know, is that the background? So why doesn't the, the leaves follow the same kind of background? You know what I mean? Okay, you need to get your thank you page and your credits page. Everything in here that's not yours, um, not images that were given to you in a textbook or in an assignment, not those, but like that right there. That would have to be credited, that image. That background image would have to be credited. If it's not yours, if you didn't create it, it needs to be credited. That image, that cover magazine image, that image, I'm guessing that that's a commercial image. So, you know, you know, you get the idea. But um, awesome work. Loved having you in class and um, very cool stuff. Thanks.